Today we are once again making handmade paper. This time we will be making these round handmade papers without the use of a mold and deckle. In this video, I will show you how I made these round made papers using a tool that is more common and I'm super definite that you will be able to find this in your nearest art and craft supply store. But before anything else, do take the time to click subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And now, for the big reveal, we will be making a round made paper using an embroidery hoop. So from the name itself, you know it is the one that you use for embroidery. It consists of two hoops. So we have the outer hoop which has this screw on part that holds it together and the inner hoop without the break. Now to assemble your makeshift mold and deckle, all you will need is a cotton sheet. Well, I'm using a cotton sheet on here that is slightly larger than the embroidery hoop. Position it above the inner hoop and place the outer hoop around it on the opposite side. Once it is snug and tight, I just screw on the lock back onto place. Once it's screwed on tight, I adjust the cloth some more to make it more firm. And I just cut off the excess cloth that I have on here. You could pre-measure your cloth before attaching it onto the hoop, but since I was using this scrap cloth that I have, so I just wanted to maximize or be efficient in cutting the sheets to size. And there we go, our makeshift mold and deckle that we will be using to create round handmade papers. I'll just run you through the basics of preparing the pulp. I have two other handmade paper videos which you can check out and I'll put the link in the description below if you want more specific and detailed information on how to prepare the pulp. But for this video, I cut the paper into strips. I skipped the soaking process altogether because I'm using a blender. If you don't have a blender at home, I have a no blender handmade paper video. I'll also put it in the link below and you can check that out. Long story short, I started making the pulp with these strips of assorted white and cream colored paper. Now all we have to do is just dump a handful or two of the paper strips onto the blender. As you can see, I am doing this indoors and on the floor. This setup is more of like a personal preference for me, but you can check out my other video where I made handmade paper outdoors and on a table. So it's really up to you. So to make the pulp, I just put in a couple of the strips onto the blender and I just put in water into the blender and when I think the water is more than enough, I close the lid of the blender. This is a very important step. And then I start with just a couple of pulse presses. I press pulse a couple of times until it becomes more smoother and I leave it to run until blended to a consistency of my liking. So I just plopped about maybe three cups of pulp onto this big tub that I have and it is important to shake the pulp around so that the pulp will remain suspended in water and it won't settle when you are going to dip the makeshift mold and deckle. When you dip the embroidery hoop, make sure it is facing frame side up. I tried dipping it cloth side up, but that doesn't work. The pulp just slides right off. I did it out of curiosity, but yeah, you could just invert it frame side up and pull up your makeshift mold and deckle. And then I just shake it around and allow the excess water to drip on the back side. Now I take it over to my prepared 
drying cloth and there's a towel underneath this wet cloth that I have so I just slowly pry off the frame I really tried my very best not to move the pulp around so I can keep the shape now is the tricky part where you flip the pulp over onto the prepared drying cloth and I press down using the sponge to absorb any more of the excess water once you have absorbed more than enough excess water from the pulp it should be easy enough to peel off the top layer of cloth as you can see on screen and now I just attach that cloth right back into the hoop ready for another dip and that's basically how you make round shaped handmade paper you just repeat the same process until you have consumed all of the pulp you have prepared and yep the next step is to dry the handmade paper you can just leave it to air dry but in this video i will show you how to cut the drying time in half using an iron all you have to do is lay another sheet of cloth on top of your handmade paper pulp and use an iron to just go back and forth each sheet this method takes a whole lot longer because you have to iron the sheet until it's dry but the drying time is super short and you get a flatter sheet of paper afterwards so if you can't really wait for the sun to show up or if you don't have access to a large yard this iron method will be perfect for you so that's how simple it is just repeat this drying process for all of the sheets that you have prepared i will be honest with you this method was more tiring but the gratification was instant so i guess it just balances itself out you can make this handmade paper in different colors different textures with different embellishments these are sort of like the different styles i came up with, I experimented with. Maybe in the next video, we can discuss how to achieve a certain type of texture, how to play around with paper color, or maybe the thickness. So let me know in the comments what topic you'd like for us to discuss next. Anyway guys, I'll end this video here. I hope you found this tutorial informative, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.